My name is Marinelle. I am an electrical engineering student at University of West Florida, and um, I'll graduate in December. I chose electrical engineering because I have a strong passion for science and technology, and as well as mathematics, and I was always interested and curious about technology, so I thought electrical engineering is a perfect fit for me. Um, I'm also interested in automation and manufacturing, so I'm hoping to work eventually in, a, in the robotics field. The courses within electrical engineering are programming, digital, digital logic, and circuit design. Um, students usually develop problem-solving skills for evaluating electrical engineering problems um, in, in such as experiments and um, design of circuit components. Um, you can also be a part of like robotics group or something like that so you can determine like what, what, what do you want to focus on when you graduate. One of the elective class that uh, I'm taking um, involves robotics and that is a good way to implement the theories that you've learned in class in, in an actual engineering environment. In that class, there are different kinds of robotics team. There's, a, there's air team, um, ground team, and we are the water team. Basically, we're trying to build an autonomous boat so we can join the AUVSI competition. Um, not this year, but maybe next year. Um, we basically build a boat from scratch and um, figure out the components that we need so we can build an autonomous boat and be ready for the competition. My favorite part of being in this major is that I learn how to, how to use critical thinking in developing applications. Um, in, we have class at the same time, you have lab afterwards, and that you learn how to apply what you learned in class in, in an actual, like let's say, designing of circuits. You learn that in class and you actually get to build it when you get to the labs, and I enjoy lab the most. For me, the most challenging part of being an electrical engineering student is that finding the time to finish all the projects and homeworks in a short period, period of time. Um, but it requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. But if you, if you spend enough time in a class to learn it, you will find out that it's actually not that hard. You just need to invest time. For example, me and my friend were working on a lab report uh, yesterday. We started at 1 p.m. and we ended at 11.30 p.m. And we probably have like an hour break from 4 to 5 p.m. But the, but the accomplishment when you submit that lab is very self-rewarding. My advice to anyone who wants to pursue electrical engineering is that if you have passion for engineering, I say go for it. It doesn't matter how hard the classes are, if, if you really want to be, if you want to have a career in engineering, it will just come easy. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, don't be afraid to ask questions to anybody, professors or your um, classmates or other professionals because everyone is willing to help. And um, as far as, as, far as co coursework to be prepared, in this area of study, it's very good if it, a, a good foundation in mathematics is really good. And if you develop a, a critical thinking ability is also a plus.